So you started learning how to play the piano because you wanted to sound like this. But unfortunately, right now you kind of sound like this. your piano playing to go from awkward and choppy to smooth and beautiful, I'm going to give you some quick tips and tricks to help your piano playing sound better, even as a beginner. Number one reason why your music is probably sounding choppy is because you're probably not familiar and comfortable with the layout of the keys on the piano. In your first lesson, you probably learned the names of the keys on the piano. You probably learned it and were like, cool. Got it, let's move on. But here's the thing, just knowing the names of the keys is not enough. You need to know the layout of the piano inside and out. So I've got three different ways that you can practice this. So number one is a visualization exercise. So this is when you are not at the piano, Picture in your head the layout of the piano keys, picking out different notes. So like visualizing C and what it looks like. Oh, it's the white key that's to the left of the set of two black keys, okay? And then doing that for every key. So you could even imagine taking your hand, your thumb, and playing C, and then visualizing moving your thumb up to G. What would that look like? What would that feel like? And then moving down to E. The more that you can visualize the keys of the piano away from the piano, the easier it's gonna be when you sit down at the piano. The second way that you can practice this is when you sit down at the piano, whether you're using sheet music or not, try to not look down at your hands when you're playing. So try to look straight ahead, or if you really need to discipline yourself, look up at the ceiling and try to move your hands and fingers to the correct keys without looking down. The third way that you can practice this is by learning scales, arpeggios, chords, mini songs that don't use sheet music anything like that that will help you get familiar with the keys and the layout before moving on to learning how to read sheet music and use rhythm, all the other things in piano. There's a lot to learn in the world of piano and you want to make sure that you have a really solid foundation of knowing which keys are which and being able to move your hands to those keys. The number two reason why your music is sounding choppy or uncomfortable, probably because you're not yet comfortable reading music and playing at the same time. Maybe you've learned how to read sheet music, but when you sit down to play a song, there's this big lag time between reading the note and then playing the correct key. You're looking at your music, looking at your hands, music, hands, and oftentimes what happens when you're doing this back and forth dance, eventually you'll look back up at your music and you'll completely forget where you are. When this happens, playing smoothly and making your music sound good is probably the last thing on your mind because you're hyper focused on just reading the music and playing the correct key. If that's you, first of all, there's a much easier way to read and remember the notes on your music. I talked about it in one of my previous videos. I'll link that video down below. I also have a free guide where I dive into exactly what this method is and how to use it. That's really the first step. Then after you do that, you want to spend some time sight reading new music. This will really get your brain and your hands familiar with reading and playing the keys at the same time. A really good way to do this is to build sight reading into your practice routine. So every time you sit down, try to read and play something brand new. It doesn't have to be super long. It literally could be something like as long as one line of music even that is going to help you to be able to read and play faster. As you become more comfortable reading and playing at the same time, it really will affect how you feel when you play, first of all, also how your music sounds because you will sound more comfortable and confident as you play. The third reason why your piano playing might sound choppy and not smooth could be just because you are trying to learn songs that are above your current level. I'm all about challenging yourself to reach for the next level. But I just want to warn you that if you choose to learn pieces that are more difficult, you definitely can. It will just be a longer, possibly more frustrating process and it will take longer to get it to the point where it sounds smooth and comfortable. My tip here is to find an easier arrangement of the song. So you can still learn that same song, but learning it in an easier arrangement. For one, you'll be able to learn it faster. And number two, you will be able to really smooth it out and make it sound better in a shorter period of time. You can always learn the original and more advanced version later. But in the meantime, having something that's a little bit easier and shorter to learn oftentimes will motivate motivate you to play and you'll be able to get your song sounding better in a shorter period of time. And the fourth reason why your piano playing might sound choppy and not really sound smooth is because you might still feel really awkward playing with both hands 
together. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a tricky part about playing the piano. Playing hands together is no joke. But what I see a lot of beginners do is diving in headfirst into a song that has a lot of intricate things happening with both hands. Got a couple tips here to help you overcome this. Number one, you've probably heard it, but it's to practice hands separately. So practice just your right hand and then just your left hand and then put it together. And when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you're being really intentional about remembering what it feels like as you're playing each hand. So let's say your right hand is playing some notes up here and then your right hand has to move. What does that move and shift feel like? And then if you wanted to take it to the next level, you could try playing just your right hand and the shift and the movement with your eyes closed. Can you do it? All of these little things will help you become more confident and comfortable playing hands separately so that when you go to put them together, your brain has less things to think about because you've already trained each hand individually. Second thing that you can do is to do some tapping exercises when you're not at the piano. And I did a previous YouTube video about this with some different exercises that you can do like when you're at a table or a desk. I'll link the video down below. If you have trouble playing both hands together, you definitely want to check out that video. And reason number five why you're playing playing is sounding choppy and not smooth is because you're too stiff. Like your body is literally too stiff when you play the piano. I know that you want to play your song just right. So it's taking a lot of energy to focus on, okay, what are my hands doing? What notes am I playing? What keys am I playing? When you do this, it translates into your playing. So even if you get all the right notes, all the right rhythm, it is still going to sound stiff because your body is stiff. So here are a couple quick tips to overcome this. Number one, don't take yourself so seriously. If you make a mistake, it's okay. That's part of the learning process. The second tip is to make sure that when you sit down at the piano, your body feels relaxed, okay? you. Give your arms the freedom to move. You give your wrists the freedom to move, okay? Instead of tensing everything up like this, relax everything, relax your shoulders. The notes that you play are going to sound so much better when you relax your body, you allow your arms to move, your wrists to move, and you really play with your whole body instead of just tensing your whole body up and playing. All right, friends, there was a lot I wanted to include in this video, but I thought these five areas were a good place to start if you're a beginner at the piano. If playing with both hands together is really holding you back and keeping you back from playing smoothly, I'm gonna put this video here for you to go watch next. It's gonna show you the tapping exercise that we talked about. This is gonna help you so much because you're gonna be able to practice this even if you're not at a piano. Go check it out.